the words can be said. UMass to the Frozen Four. In a dominant NCAA regional, the Minutemen outscored their opponents by a combined score of eight to nothing, earning the program's first ever trip to the Frozen Four. Buffalo, New York would be the destination where the team would play its final games of the season. The Minutemen were flying high, but they were still landing in uncharted territory. Awaiting them, the Denver Pioneers. How could a team who has never seen this stage before go and take down a program who's tied for the second most NCAA championships of all time? Well, like they did all season, these Minutemen would have to show up and get to work. You see, head coach Greg Carville defined his team as special. They moved fast, they worked hard, and ultimately, they were prepared. As Coach Carvel said before the season even began, this was new mass at a whole new level. The storied school, Denver, against the brand new school, Barry, the UMass Minutemen. The stage was set, both teams were ready, and the semifinal between the Denver Pioneers and the UMass Minutemen was underway. UMass off to a great start. Oh, here comes McCarr. And a breakaway to make it one nothing. Oh, pull from behind Michael Davies, a gorgeous stick check. UMass really has come out strong here in the first period. Remember UMass, these two teams have not allowed goal in their regionals. Then, a potentially devastating moment. Captain Nico Hillenbrand was ejected from the game. Moments later, Denver took advantage. Cross shot, what a save, it's loose! Where is it? Crease, save, Lindbergh, goal! Cohen Olashevsky makes it 1 0 Denver. However, the Minutemen adjusted and got back to playing their game. They drew penalties and capitalized on their power play chances, just like they did all season. Del Geisel, number two. Shot score. Tipped in front. Bobby Trevino. Driver eight. Take a break. 1 1 in Buffalo. Still a power play for UMass. Pritchard, Picard, Chafee. Shot score. Tip. Puck cleared into the Denver zone, around to the near side, Ferraro has the point, sends it out front, Leonard, shot score! Johnny Leonard, what a shot, it is 3-1 UMass. Shot score! John Leonard! Those three goals would give UMass a 3-1 lead at the end of the first period. While there was no scoring in the second period, UMass took another potentially devastating blow. Forward Mitchell Chafee was given a game misconduct, forcing the Minutemen to go down another key player. Denver sustained pressure the rest of the period and early into the third, where they finally broke through to pull to within one. And at long last, Denver is back in this semifinal game. Minutes later, they had tied the game. Bounces in the corner, but well in front, danger score! We're tied! Got them again! UMass was on their heels. Denver applied heavy pressure the rest of the game, but freshman goaltender Philly Lindbergh didn't break. This gave the team the chance to regroup. The national semifinal game will go to overtime. In overtime, it looked like the Minutemen had refound their legs. Both sides exchanged chances for over 15 minutes. 
until finally, a blast from freshman defender Mark Del Geizo found the back of the net. Watch out! Score! Watch out! Watch out! For Mark Del Geizo! It was the goal call heard around the hockey world. With four minutes and 42 seconds left in overtime, Mark Del Geizo had just sent the Minutemen to the national championship. And the Minutemen are off to the championship game. The Minutemen had done it. Not only did they advance to their first Frozen Four in program history, they won the game. Believe it or not, Coach Carville never doubted his team and felt from start to finish that his squad would prevail. I'll be honest with you fellas, I get really anxious on the bench. As you guys know, but in that overtime, I wasn't. You guys are a hell of a team. That is a culture win if I ever saw one. This is New Mass, and this is setting the standard.